you think of the game today? Um, it was good. Um, How was it good? You're a Huddersfield fan. You lost. Yeah. How was it good? I know, but... Um, they played well. Yeah, they did play well. Played well in the first half, Huddersfield, didn't they? Yeah. Played very well. Paddy Crarin's taking my <laughs> job here. What's going on? What's going no, on? What, what did you make of it, mate? I thought it was a very difficult match for you, mate. Know, I thought Huddersfield played well, really. The first half they played really well. And what, what do you think changed in the second half then? Because it was very different. The goals tempo picked up a game, lot. Son. Goals change again. When somebody scores a goal, that deflates, the other, deflates you yeah. and helps the other team. And, and Lukaku, quick summary on his performance today. Two goals that only he could have scored, I would say. Yeah, it was terrific, Lukaku. Yeah. And actually, I think he surprised everybody how good he's been at Old Trafford. They scored a lot of goals. and United not really, have not really had somebody from somewhere else cap capable of putting goals. the ball in the back of the net. <laughs> Full-time Devils, full-time Devils, we're a Man United fans YouTube oh, channel. Yeah. Oh, it's good oh, to have you on, mate. Honestly, like the, the fans will love it. The oh, subscribers no, will love having you on. Well. So, the, 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 the fans are terrific. Without football fans at any football club, the football club's a waste of time. It's, it's all about fans' football. Perfect. Oh, what a way to finish on that as well. Perfect, <laughs> mate. Honestly, Cheer thank up. you. Jordan, mate, talk to me. Romelu Lukaku. Uh, scored two goals. That's all you need to do as a striker, isn't it? First touch, still poor. First touch, he's, he just needs to work on his first touch. Well, right, long term, like when I'm talking like two, three years, do you think he's he's going to be our starting man up top still? If, really? If he can, if he can improve his first touch, I'll give it him. He's scoring the goals, fair enough. Yeah, just needs to improve on that first touch. That's all he needs. Big negative today. I mean, the big controversy that VAR technology. Well, I I got a text from my dad at half time telling it well, it was onside. It should have stood. So it should have been 3-0, 4-0. This is the thing, what is it like when you're in the ground and VAR is like, if the ball goes in the net, you think it's in. So you can only go off what's in the net. Yeah, I mean, the in terms of like waiting for the actual decision, like everyone, everyone's just looking at each other like, what's the I didn't know, I didn't know it didn't go in. I didn't know it went to VAR. Yeah. I thought it was in. I thought it was in, so. <laughs> These have had a good day anyway, that's the main thing. <laughs> nice one, bud. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, man. Kieran, talk to me. Beautiful game. I thought, uh, I thought um, Sanchez played okay. Yeah. Not too much done, but you know, two 0 Next round, bring on Wembley. How, how, I was going to say, how important is this competition, and how far do you think we can get in it? I think, I think we can get very far in it. Thinking City playing on Monday against Wigan could be a banana slip. Exactly, yeah. I think this is very, very important for us. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, I mean, I've seen, I've heard a few people say this, and I've said this as well. Don't know if you agree, but it's pretty much the last competition we can win this season, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's agreeable, really, because Champions League, it's you know, far it's a bit far-fetched. Yeah, you know, Premier League. I think, unfortunately, shitty have got it there, but you know, I think FA Cup. I think. I think that's a really, really good one that we can get there. You mentioned Sanchez. Who's your man of the match? Is it Sanchez or does Lukaku get it just for the goals? I think Lukaku, Lukaku gets it really because Brace, what can you say? Yeah. And they were what both good goals as well. Man. Brilliant, brilliant goals, I think. The, the only he would have scored, so. Exactly, yeah. Happy days, pal. Nice, nice one. one. Cheers saying hello, pal. Right then, Binzi. Bit of a dodgy first half. Yeah. That second half, though, big improvement. And the only thing that matters, we're into the next round of the FA Cup. Correct. The lads before and Lukaku had a good game. Luke Shaw had a brilliant game. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, they they had a big side in Huddersfield, you know what I mean? And they got stuck into us, didn't they, again? Yeah, well they've caused problems for us in the past, haven't they? I mean we're ready this time though. We had a few big lads in our team today, didn't we? You know what I mean? But you know, they played well. You gotta give them that they did play well. He even had a perfectly good goal disallowed on man, man, man of the match? Um well, you've got to give it Lukaku, but I thought Luke Shaw played brilliant. Good day. shout, it's good shout. Yeah, Luke, I, but Lukaku, he got the goal, did he? You know what I mean? We're just waiting for the wait, waiting for the boys to get on. Who's that? That's that Hamilton. Is this, this is the young lad, I think, Hamilton. It's like David Attenborough, this. It's like a nature documentary. Okay, all right. Right, so we're outside the United team bus. There's Luke Shaw getting on there. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the boys to get on, to be honest. Yes, Angel Gomez. Yes, Mike. Who else is getting on? Lingard's on. Tony! The, the man. The man, Tony Marshall. My favourite player. <laughs> He's not doing a register, is he, at the front? Marshall. Here, sir. Here he is. The boy. 
Right, here's Eric Bailly coming into the coach. Eric, 